Okay, this is John Hanson with FloridaPhysique.com. We are in the gym today with Marcus Harris, men's physique competitor. How you doing, Marcus? Doing awesome. Doing awesome. Thanks. So tell us a little bit about your uh, your background, Marcus. Did you just com start competing this year? Well, I've been competing for about two years now. Okay. Um, I uh, started out just being a local gym rat in the Navy, uh, got out of the Navy and a couple of my buddies started uh, doing physique and I gave it a shot and it's all been kind of working out for me. Okay. So, How many years have you been training now overall? I've uh, been training for two years, actually training and competing for two years. Okay. But uh, gym, going to the gym, uh, eight years. Okay. Now I know we did the Natural Sun Coast uh, this year and you won that. That was my first show I promoted out here. Great show too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And then uh, you did the uh, Tampa Bay Classic, which is a really big show. It's one of the longest running shows out here in Tampa, in Florida, I should say. And you won that one. Um, how about last year? How did you do when you first started competing? Well, last year I, I competed in two uh, competitions, and I did fairly well. Uh, I thought I had the best physique um, of the rest of the guys, except um, I can, my posing wasn't where it should have been. So uh, I placed second and third place in those two competitions last year. And... Uh, my adjustment for coming into this year was was my posing routine. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that when you were on stage, you, you really were real smooth in your posing and your transitions. That's that is a big part of men's physique now, huh? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's all about the posing. Right, right. Now, what changes did you make in your physique in the last year? Uh, physique. What I did was uh, I, I, the first couple shows, I I wanted to come in bigger than everyone. Mm -hmm. But I took the effect this time of, of more so coming in um, just leaner. You know, it all depends on on what the judges want to see, and I kind of looked at the guys who were who were winning, the guys who had success, and, and I took that method, and, and, and that's pretty much what made the uh, difference between my physique, not coming in, just not overall, just per se bigger than everyone, but uh, just more conditioned. So you, were you leaner this year than last year? Oh, definitely. I, I, I always look at my pitches and I compare them, and uh, that definitely was the uh, was the difference is, is the leanness. What did you do as far as your diet to change that? Uh, what I did was actually. The diet didn't really uh, change up much. I really changed in the way I, I came into the competition. As far as my last, uh, you know, we call it peak week. I call it the two week peak. Uh -huh. But uh, you know, I I, I, I kind of uh, structured that a little bit different um, without giving away all my secrets. <laughs> uh, I, I, I I switched up my carb up routine going into the competition. So I went more um, safer carbs, might I add, okay. than uh, just. You know the, the traditional sweet potatoes coming in, loading my carb up, my load phase manipulated a little bit, and that's pretty much what made my difference. Okay. So, so you were in shape last year. It's just you messed up sort of at the end when you did the yeah, carb up. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly what happened. Uh, I noticed the last two competitions, I took the same uh, carb load uh, going into the competition the same way, and it drastically changed my physique. That's interesting. So, what are we training today? You're training back, right? Uh, back it is. Yep. All right, Marcus, so when you do your back, what's what's the goal as a men's physique competitor? Are you trying to make it wider, thicker? Uh, not necessarily thicker. I like to go more so wider. It's all about the appeal to the judges. Right. Kind of like that curvature effect. Yeah. So uh, more wide than thick. Okay. So then you started off with uh, wide grip chins, and I, I assume that's for more width in the upper back, right? Definitely. I like to get uh, more. That's one of my areas that I like to build on and kind of enhance. So, mm -hmm. so I, I like to do uh, loaded uh, wide grip pull-ups. Yeah, I saw you doing that. You uh, put the dumbbell in between your feet. That's pretty cool. I've seen guys using a weight belt before, but I've never seen somebody just holding the dumbbell. And then you were able to just drop it when it got when you couldn't do any more full reps and then just keep going. Right, that's kind of like the effect I like to take. Uh, it's like kind of, I'm using a pyramid effect. I'm not necessarily counting, but I am counting. <laughs> so I, I, I see how far I can lift the weight, how many reps I can get uh, one week and the next week I like to enhance that. So I pretty much like to drop the weight at different reps. Yeah. You mentioned you were doing hypertrophy training. So does that increase every week, or are you just are you just going for like a certain amount of uh, reps? Uh, a little bit of both. That's a good question, actually. Uh, what I like to do is every week uh, I like to set a target goal. I like to set a target uh, rep range. My rep range is eight to ten repetitions. Um, if I fall within that rep range, I know I'm good. So. Um, that's pretty much where I, where I like to take my hypertrophy uh, training at. As the weeks progress, maybe four weeks down the line, I make a a, a, a transition into the next upper level, you know, load. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So then, after the wide grip chins, you went and did close grip pull downs, right? Correct. Now that's more for the lower lats, I'm assuming, right? Correct. Yeah, I like to really enhance my lower lats because when you 
through your back pose, one thing that's going to really define you and, and stick you out from the next guy is how wide you are and when it comes to the lower traps, how much do they kind of protrude. You don't want those muscles to be flat from, this is what, what I see uh, when I look at the guys that, that win. Uh, those guys, their, their uh, lats are wide and their, their uh, lower traps and medial traps have a little girth in them. So yeah. that's the look they're looking for, I'm going for it. Right, I noticed that too. I, even, the, even the lower back, like the um, spinal erectors by the back and the lower, back, lower part of the back, that's always usually really developed on the men's physique guys. Definitely, uh, and, and again, that's all in, in, in your waist, your waist as well. So yeah. if you can get a small waist, the curvature, it's yeah. all about the curvature. It's gonna make everything else seem a lot more cut than what it maybe truly is. Right, exactly, that's a good point. And then I saw you were doing uh, drop sets on most of your exercises. Yeah, I like to do drop sets, uh, not to tell on myself, but uh, I know I'm two or three weeks out from a competition, and, and normally I would be going a little bit lighter and doing a little bit more uh, uh, circuit training, mm -hmm. but everyone has a life, and when, when life attacks, then you gotta gotta roll with it and do what you have to do. So right now, I'm taking my uh, drop set to kind of just expend more energy in, in the gym because okay. my my uh, I get you to say my diet regimen isn't where I would like it to be, but that's life. So it not only um, depletes all the glycogen, but you're also pushing the muscle farther than you could. Definitely. I'm pushing the muscle further just to bring out. I'm trying to get my best. Everyone has this level where, where they can get to their best. And right now, uh, if you're going to start at different stages in where your diet is at, how far you're out from a competition, that's what you're going to have to manipulate, your training routine. Right. And then after that, you did your third exercise was the one-arm dumbbell rows? Yeah, those are one of those things. Uh, it's just one of my favorite exercises, so yeah. I never let those go away, and nothing really uh, hits those the whole entire back like like the bent over rows. Yeah. And I saw when you were doing it, you were sort of pulling toward your waist. Is that to get more of the lower lat? 100%. I like to get the lower lat, and I get more of a uh, range of motion uh, when I take the, I guess you could say, I call it the lawnmower effect. Yeah. When I'm cranking up that lawnmower, I just get more of a, uh, of a range of motion, which expands more calories. Yeah. And then uh, you also did drop sets on that one. You, like, I think your last set you did like four drop sets. Was it three or four? I did. Uh, I, I believe it was four drop sets. Yeah. And again, that's just uh, expending more calories in the gym, trying to get the best out of that uh, out of the exercise. Right. Okay. And then uh, you finished off with the seated cable rows. Again, that's more for uh, the thickness, right? Exactly. I like I like to end up with the uh, seated cable rows because I've kind of expended everything else. I've done wide. I've done medial, and that's just a good. Uh, uh, exercise to to really top it off because I got my legs and stopping me uh, and it gives me a good uh, just a solid uh, exercise to just end out the uh, the repetitions yeah. and I like to kind of do a, a, another drop set with those because uh, it just really enhances that the uh, medial traps and I saw that also was really good form you weren't like swinging around a lot you're just using uh, really strict form keeping your keeping your upper body real rigid and just pulling just with the arm. Exactly. And one thing I like to key in on when I'm doing my exercises, it's all about control. You know, a lot of guys I see, not to knock anyone's exercise routine, but I see a lot of uh, mistakes when people get on and, you know, they uh, take the exercise and they, they kind of get wobbly. They just like to get a lot of sets in. And it's really more so about uh, the control and the contraction of the muscle. So that's more so what I'm doing. If I'm doing my medial traps, I'm actually contracting the medial traps. Now, you're getting ready for the Tim Gardner extravaganza, which is going to be held in conjunction with the Tampa Bay Pro, and we got about two more weeks for that. How's, how are you feeling about that? How's your training going, and how's your prep going? Well, pretty great. Um, uh, going into this competition, um, coming off a, a good uh, confidence after winning the... Uh, the two shows in a row this past couple months so I mean I feel great uh, working on my posing routine that's that's uh, down and in effect and uh, I mean I, I really feel great about the the next competition okay. and you're you're a busy guy you're going to school right and you're a family man yeah going to school family man you know that's, that's one thing I, I took from the military whatever it is that you got to get it done you just get it done right. <laughs> and great well we wish you the best of luck at the uh, Jim Gardner extravaganza in a couple weeks and uh, we hope you bring home another title. Will do. Thank you. All right. John Hanson, this is FloridaPhysique.com.